into this rich text box okay so if you are following these videos in the video number 25 i think i have shown you how to open a text file in the rich text box so i will just show you this is the video in which i have shown you how to open a text file in the rich text box so i will just copy the code from that open file dialog and i will just paste it here so just see this video to open the text file in the text uh, rich text box so i will just go open and double click this open menu item and in here i will just write the code for opening a text file in the rich text box so i will just copy and paste that code which i have used in video number 25 okay so this is the code in here i have just changed this get rich text box which is our function which we have declared here this, this is the function name and just in the open file dialog just change the this rich text box function just paste it here this rich text box okay so this is the code for opening the text file in the selected rich text box so just run the program and i will just file open a new document and now i will when i click this open menu item it will open a file dialog and i will select a file text file so double click it and it opens the text file in this new document once again a new document and in here i want to open a different text file so i will just click open text and let me see if i yeah i have second uh, file text file so i will just double click this and it opens the second text file here this is different and this is different okay so in this way you could be able to open the new text file in these text or tabs now the code for saving the file so just double click this save button or menu item and in here i will write the code for saving the text file so if you are following this video in the last video itself i have shown you how to save a text file using a button so in the video i will just refresh this page and in the last video which is video number 66 how to save file using save file dialog in that video i have shown you how to save file using a button so i will just copy the same code in this save button click item click here so here in the save tool strip menu item click i will just paste the code from the last video in here i have just changed this get rich text box so here we generally pass the rich text box name and right now i'm just passing the function which i have declared here this rich text box function which we have written earlier okay so just pass it here like this so this is the code for saving the file okay so now we will check we will open a new do document in here i will open a new text file this text file for example and now i want to save this file so i will just click this save and it will open the save dialog and i want to name it something blah 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 dot txt file and i will save it so when i check on my desktop 
this file is already saved okay so this file is saved so you have made the program to open uh, open a new tab open a text file in this this tab and save a file in this tab now I will show you how to use this tool strip in this notepad application so just drag and drop a tool strip here cannot okay so just I need to so I just need to undock this this one and sorry I just select this and I will just so I just selected it and I have just undocked this so dock, go to dock and press this none okay and once again here I have drag and dropped a uh, tool strip so once again I will remove this tool strip I will go to my toolbox and drag and drop a tool strip here and once again select this tool uh, or, or tab control and once again I will just dock this so go to dock and dock to the middle so now I have this tool strip also, this tab also, and this menu strip also. And in here I will add the search or highlight uh, text. So I will add a button which I will just right click it and I will set a image. So I will just import a image which I have already downloaded and I will just click click this search image and click OK so it will give me a search image button and I will also add a text box and in here I will add the text which I want to search in the document so this text box you can just increase uh, the size of this text box by go selecting that text box and go to the size and I will just enter here 150 instead of 100 and now when I see here my text box length is increased or width is increased whatever you say now I will write the code for searching and highlighting the word in the text file. So I will just double click this button and if you are following these videos in the video number let me see video number 26 I have shown you how to search words in the rich text box and highlight them. So I will just copy the same code from there and I will paste in this in this uh, search button double click event here. Okay. So this code is from video number 26 if you don't know. So this is the code which I have shown you in the video number 26 and this is showing error because instead of this rich text box I need to enter this get rich text box function which I have made earlier so instead of this I paste this rich text box everywhere I just replace this rich text box by this rich get rich text box function and here also and instead of this text box in which we will write the search word I will just select this 
text box and I will just copy the name of this text box which is tool strip text box and instead of this text simple text box I will just paste it this text box okay so this is the code from the video number 26 if you don't know this code and now I will once again run the code and I will just open a file text file here what is the problem okay so I haven't opened a new tab for that so once again I will run the code I will go here I will just first of all I will add a new document by pressing new not showing because it has hidden in this tool strip so I will just select this text box and I will just go to doc once again and in here I will select this one okay so it docks like this and I will just drag and place it like this now when I run the program and I will just open new document it shows me the new tab now now I will open a new document so I will click on file open and new text it shows me a new text and you you can just anchor it and uh, when I press any item for example I want to search for this word the 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 so I will write the in this text box and I will just press this search button and you see all the word which are the are highlighted in this text box so you can search for and search and highlight these word also so you can do many things which this new tabbed notepad application I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned something new this time please rate comment and subscribe and bye for